Yes, it uh, approximately 922 or officers were in the area. Uh, two of our deputies were in the area of uh, Six Mile and 40th Avenue when, when they noticed a residence that had a, a broken front window um, with a milk crate underneath it. Um, they went up to the residence and after looking inside through the window, uh, they could hear muffled sounds inside and uh, they gained entry shortly after that. Uh, they made contact with um, subject later identified as McLafferty, who had some self-inflicted wounds to his chest. Uh, they immediately uh, asked for EMS and rescue to come to the scene. They uh, performed emergency first aid on McLafferty after EMS had arrived had later died on the scene. Did he try to shoot himself? No, it was not a gunshot wound. It was a stab wound. He tried to stab himself is kind of what you're getting at here. He did stab himself. How many times? I do not know. What time did you guys find him? Approximately 9.22 p.m. Okay. Um, did, did he say anything else? I mean, was he that wounded? Like, what was... There was no conversation between uh, the responding officers and, and McLafferty. Was he conscious? He was not conscious. So the address of the home that you guys found him in, was that a, a abandoned home or what? It, it was an unoccupied uh, home that we, we believe at this time was used as a hunting cabin. Oh. Uh, there was nobody there. Did he have a note or anything that he left? I don't have any information of a note. Okay. So what is still under investigation right now? Uh, we have uh, four of our deputies on scene right now, two of them are evidence techs, along with one of the detectives that was uh, here all day. They're processing the scene and also in contact with Grand Rapids PD. Um, and they'll continue doing that until they're done. Um, our command center here is going to be uh, shut down and uh, patrols will continue. Fifteen different agencies were working this. Can you tell us which officers from where or deputies from where found him? Yes, Macosta County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, and you're talking about night, you're talking about going door to door here at night and you know, you, there were so many officers here during the day but, you know, it's that sort of beat police work at night that sort of ended up finding this guy. Uh, your comment on that? Uh, yes, it was uh, persistence. And uh, also with our deputies, it was knowledge of the area. Um, they were very familiar with this area. Um, you know, and where this house was located, we had probably been before um, during this investigation. Um, and it is that, that persistent um, knocking on doors, uh, creating information, getting information, and, and leading to the, the ultimate outcome. 